Hi guys, um, it's Gary here. I think this is my first time uh, appearing in one of my videos. So anyway, as the title suggests, I'm uh, going to do a short comparison video between the uh, 16X and my 84 volt MSX. There is a there is currently one 16X in Singapore. So um, a little information on how we ride in Singapore. All electric vehicles are not allowed on the road, so we have to go on the pavements or the sidewalks. And um, in Singapore, we actually have this huge network of park connected networks called PCNs. All right, so it's basically a super highway that links the whole country together. It links all the parks and uh, places of interest together through many different uh, pedestrian highways. So this is how the people in Singapore get around on their bicycle and their electric scooters. So guys, here's the uh, 16X. As you can see, the I'm totally in love with the lights and I really love the sleek all black look of it. Yeah, I just can't wait for mine to arrive. And as you can see the mud flap is uh, flexible. And I also love the fact that the pedals are in black. Yeah, if they were not in black, I would have spray painted them myself as well. Uh, similar to my MSX uh, pedals. And as for the uh, anti-spin handle this is how it works so you need to sort of lift up the handle a bit and yeah it starts spinning and when you put it down you have to push down the handle and you'll start to uh, move again right so what else can i say yeah i like the size it's a very good uh size for me personally because uh it doesn't feel as boxy as the uh nicola yeah somehow the nicola feels a bit uncomfortable to me yeah maybe because of padding yeah and uh, I'm, I'm just very used to the feel of the msx and getting back to that king song has changed the uh, padders so there's some uh, degree of uh, slant to it and uh, it feels really good yeah so i think they they really listened to the community and uh, done their part to make sure that the wheel uh, is perfect or as good as perfect as it as, as it comes uh, yeah so yeah, let's go for a ride. Very nice. I just went up a slight incline and the uh, the power is just it's just there. So just a big disclaimer, this isn't my wheel, it belongs to my friend, uh, belongs to a friend of mine. So I'm not going to push it, I'm not, not going to test the top speed because I'm sure there are plenty of videos out there where people have tested it and maybe some have even crashed, I don't know. Yeah. So I'm just going to do a very quick initial review of how it feels when compared to the MSX. Okay. So this is what the video is going to be. How it feels when compared to my MSX. Oh, I'm loving this wheel. The power is just incredible. Yeah. The moment I lean, the power just comes. And let's see how it does uh, on braking. Very nice. Very, very little wobble. Uh, considering that this is my first time on the wheel, yeah, I, I, I'll say the, the wobble is negligible. Let's try it again. And now I'll try to have a gentle braking. Just a very slight wobble again. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a 
just a little slight wobble but I'm sure that uh, with time you'll get used to the riding characteristics of the wheel so and you'll be more prepared to uh, manage the wobble so my final thoughts on this wheel is that um, I think it's something that we should consider the 16 inch wheel is very agile and nimble and as a rider I feel very connected to the wheel and uh, compared to my MSX yeah, it's pretty similar but uh, there's just this bit of uh, more power to it when I accelerate yeah, you don't need to lean as much as the Nikola yeah, the wheel seems to want to go in, direction, in one direction and you really need to push down on one pedal to turn on the Nikola initially yeah, but I'm sure for the Nikola riders as time goes past uh, you, are, you, you get used to your wheel but for me for my first time on a 16x yeah it's it's just uh, perfect it's like I've owned the wheel for a year or something like that yeah so yeah I'm loving it and I can't wait for mine to arrive so see you until next time Thank you.